This is the best all-around camper for a mid-sized family. This is a 2024 Flagstaff Micro 8 25 BRDS. This sucker's got a really solid build. She's a good bang for her buck. Tons of great features out here. We got a ladder up to our fully walkable roof. Max air fan up here for maximum ventilation in your bathroom, keeps the stinkies out. And then you got a Coleman Mach AC up here, keep you cool in the summer, and a 200 watt solar panel. And if you want, you can add more solar. Mount for a backup camera so you don't crash back and in for the first time. We got a spare toy right there, and then a receiver hitch if you want to bring some more goodies. Around the side, we got a nice camp kitchen. Flagstaff was kind enough to put your cooktop next to your mini fridge instead of beneath it like a lot of other models. I don't know why other people do that, it's so counterintuitive. And then there is an outdoor water line here so you can take outdoor showers, have a little outdoor sink. This rail right here will mount an outdoor table that's stored in there, it'll also mount an outdoor griddle. Got a mount for a TV here and then two outdoor speakers, these are all underneath our 15 foot awning. Just kidding, that is a 20 foot awning. Uh, frameless tinted windows all around the outside of this thing, looking nice and sleek. But let's get on the inside and see what we're working with. Ooh, wowie zowie, this thing is pretty nice. We can start at the very rear of the camper, we'll go to the bunks. Uh, you see we got double over double, these things are nice and wide, they're also nice and thick. This one right here is folded over, this whole thing will actually fold up, you can latch it there, you can use this as your little bike garage, maybe for your kayaks, your longboards. Then you got a little net underneath for that little uh, garage area. Curtains on both of these for privacy to the right, got a bathroom area, porcelain foot flush here. It's a decent size I suppose. A little tiny tub in here, good for washing pets or babies. Kool-Aid man was in here earlier. There's also a little accent right down there. Just a little element of pizzazz. Next we'll go into our uh, living and kitchen area. And it's all right in one room because this is a very open concept camper. Refrigerator in this piece, uh, double sided. Pretty cool in concept, sometimes can be frustrating. Three burner, gas stove, oven. Undermount sink, dish drying, roly poly, uh, rack thing. Extend that countertop space if you need to. Right above all this is your TV and microwave as well. Sleeping for your third child will be here on this, uh, this U-shaped dinette. You can convert this into a full bed. Bam, now you got a nice full bed here. And then uh, sleeping for the adults, we got this sofa here. This thing will jackknife out. But don't worry, we're not done there. That's not your sleeping situation. Behind this wall, we got a big old Murphy bed. To lower that, just unlatch here, here, and then snap your fingers. <laughs> Boom, now you got your big, comfy, beautiful queen bed. If the snapping fingers thing didn't work, there are alternative instructions on how you can lower it right here. And right at the very front of your camper by your bed, you got a nice big old front windshield, great for stargazing. Fantastic views out of that, John. Let me know if you got any questions on this camper. The phone number is in the bio.